Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. The US produced five different dimes, 1996, and we have the Philadelphia way over here to the right, the Denver here for the D. We have the clad San Francisco mint coin right here, the West Point coin, uncirculated mint sets, and then we have the silver from the silver mint set, San Francisco mint here. There had never been a West Point dime before. In 1996, they said, let's do something special. Let's put a coin out from the West Point mint, but in order to make it really collectible or valuable, let's only put it in the uncirculated mint set. And that's what this one is here. Just a sweet one. It's in a little plastic package in the 1996 uncirculated mint sets. If you do buy a 1996 uncirculated mint set, make sure that they haven't taken out the, the W. The West Point Mint, we've seen it used a few times since 1996. They put out a general circulation coin from West Point, as many of you know. Same thing, Liberty at the top and God we trust. W. There's a J and an S there for John Sinek, and this is also on all of the coins. John Sinek was the original engraver of these coins. The West Point Mint coin was a clad coin. It came in a set with all the Phillies, all the Denvers. And when we get to the back of this one, we see it's okay. This is not what I would consider a full band's version, a good one anyway. The flame is, is there. The lines here between the bottom bands are not so great. The bands going down are pretty good. So remember, this is an uncirculated coin. And the W is kind of fun. Let's see how the W kind of swings out. It kind of has these wings on it, like it's a flying kind of W. At the West Point Mint, they made 1.5 million of these. It's listed at anywhere between 11 and $20, depending on what book you look into. What else did they make that year? Well, they made the silver coins. They came out with a silver mint set in 1996, and they made 830,000 of them. This silver dime here, if it a uh, proof 65, because these are proof coins when they're with the San Francisco mint now. Look at that. Same 118 reads, but there's the other San Francisco one. We see that that's the copper nickel clad copper. So the silver one here, they made 830,000. The copper nickel clad copper one here, they made about two million. The silver one is worth um, probably somewhere around seven to ten dollars at proof sixty-five. The copper nickel clad copper one is worth somewhere around three fifty. And then of course we had the Philadelphia mint. Philadelphia mint in nineteen ninety-six made one point four billion. There's plenty around. And the Denver mint in nineteen ninety-six made one point four billion. These are worth three to five bucks at MS-65. Let's see how the bands look on the back of these ones. Well, not too bad. Probably as good as the a West Point Mint for that one. Yeah, that one's okay. How about the back of the San Francisco coins? Because these are proof coins. Well, that's what it would look like. It wouldn't pop off the coin like this because the San Francisco Mints have a special polish, but it would look something like this with the separation between the bands, separation between the bands, uh, really nice lines in the flame and lines all the way down through. The dime in 1945 was the Mercury dime. You can see the 1945 down here. In God We Trust under Mercury's chin. It's not really Mercury. It's Lady Liberty wearing a Phrygian cap. It says Liberty around the top. And you look for the mint mark and you're not going to see it because the mint mark is back here. United States of America around the top there. One dime at the bottom. E Pluribus Unum is here. There's the fascist with the olive branch around it. And then right down here is the D. There were two mint marks and an O mint mark in 1945. San Francisco Mint was a regular producing mint. It wasn't a specialty mint. And then came Roosevelt in 1946. In 1945, Roosevelt died. In 1946, they came out with the Roosevelt dime. There's no mint mark on the front of the 1946 coins. It does say in God we trust under Roosevelt's chin we see that it is a 90% silver, just as the 1945 Mercury was. And then we get back and we see there's an S on here. These are really hard to find, so I just wanted to show you a 1946 S. The first year they put out the Franklin Delano Roosevelt dime. From 1946 until 1964, they stayed the same. Then in 1965, they decided to change it and make it into a clad dime. So it's a copper nickel clad copper. There are 118 of these reeds that go around the outside. You can see the copper on the inside. And on the back, 
uh, same as all Roosevelt dimes. It says United States of America, E Pluribus Unum across the middle, one dime here. You can see this is not going to be a full band's version. And we'll show you a full band's version, but essentially what you do is you look at this torch. You also look at the, the fire on the top of the torch, and that's how you determine the quality of these coins frequently. On the left is an olive sprig with two olives on it. On the right is a sprig with at least two acorns on it. 96 when these coins came out had not changed at all. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.